Hi to ho everyone, my name is Flare, and welcome back to another Top 10 video. This week, we will be covering the Top 10 Trees in Destiny 2. I know this is an important topic to many of the arboriculturalist tree fanatics in the Destiny community, seeing that it is the fastest growing community around. Today, I will be showing you the Top 10 Trees in the game and rating them based on their height, health, treeiness, and uniqueness. As an avid tree watcher myself, I have found these categories to be the most intriguing and far more interesting than the categories set by the grass watching committee. Hey, fuck you! The first tree we will be looking at today is the Bannerfall tree. This tree is notorious for its large size, curvature, and brightly colored leaves. This tree was dummy thick and provided great cover during crucible matches while improving the feng shui of the map. But now it's dead. I believe there's more to it, but I'm honestly stumped. Zeros across the board. Next, we have the other tree of Bannerfall. As you can see, this tree struggles in the category of treeness and health, seeing as it struggles to be a tree. It ranks very low in the height category and refuses to support Pride Month with its gray color scheme. This tree, unfortunately, gets low ratings across the board. 0 out of 10, once again. Now, we have the topple tree in the EDZ. This is a very special tree because it gets a rating almost as high as Snoop Dogg on your average day. If you calculate the vertical distance of the tree and solve for the hypotenuse using sine equals O over H, the height of the tree ends up being exactly pretty dang high. It's simple geometry. Unfortunately, since this tree is a lie and deflects bullets, it must be made out of metal, in which case it scores very low in every other category. 2 out of 10. After this, we have the Tree of Probabilities. This tree is infinitely large, has an infinite number of enemies, and also is the only tree in the game that's entirely simulated. It can simulate anything from the Vex, to rocks, to more trees. The problem is, these trees are not real, and look at all the pollution down there. Overall, 3 out of 10, bad for global warming. At number 6, we have this tree in the middle of the new tower. While this tree isn't super tall, it ranks highly in health, and, as far as I can tell, it's most definitely a real tree. It also ranks very well on the uniqueness scale, as it is the only tree with a member of the tree watching group watching over it at all times. 5 out of 10, good tree. Coming in at number 5, we have that particular tree over there. No, not that one. That one. This tree is a particularly important tree because, uh, look, at least I'm not a part of the grass watching committee. Hey, fuck you! 7 out of 10. At number 4 on the list, we have the Stormcaller Warlock Top Skill Tree. It ranks very high in color and very high in health, even though Stormcaller during the Taken King made me want to kill myself. This class generates electric fields with its abilities, and the melee ability allows it to throw some absolute units at people. Saving the environment, 8 out of 10. The trees at numbers 2 and 3 are both trees on the Midtown map, and are special trees because they're both impervious to bullets, grenades, and Space Magic Johnson. These would be perfect trees to hide behind during a nuclear apocalypse, especially compared to hiding under desks. I'd like to see some grass survive a Nova Bomb. Dude, what do you want from me? And at number 1, we have the tree on Mars. Now I bet you're wondering, how the hell can a tree actually grow on Mars? It's not like Mars has any arable land on it anywhere. This has to be impossible. But the truth is, this isn't the same Mars we know and love now. This is a Mars in the future, where Elon Musk has already mastered space travel and traveled light years away from Earth, developing his own society and manufacturing his own kind of energy. And then, in his spaceship that looks suspiciously like a giant snowball, he returned to Mars just as the rest of the world was catching up and started the Golden Age, terraforming all of the planets and bringing humanity into the future. Unfortunately, he went too far. When developing EXOS, he was successful on a side project which led to the development of real live cat girls. These cat girls were so powerful that they drove the residents of Mars to insanity to the point where Rasputin had to take over and cover the entire planet in ice, killing off whatever was left over. This is a true story. I mean, you ever wonder why Anna Bray is such a catch? That's right. You knew it the whole time. 10 out of 10 tree. 
Make that seed work, right in that dirt, make you a tree. Ay, ay, I planted all of these trees. That's a whole lot of oxygen, bro. Y'all know me, puffin' that oak.